Hey everybody, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Today we'll, we will be doing the Single Loom Thunder Drum Baby. Um, really quick, I was going to be doing um, the Speed Stinger, the Snap Trapper, and the Scaldron next. But I'm going to be doing the Thunder Drum because I already had designed him during free time today. Um, so I'm just going to be doing him, but don't worry, I will be doing the Speed Stinger next, hopefully. Because I know that many of you have been waiting a long time for that one. Um, okay, so anyway, this shouldn't take too long because he's going to be pretty small. Um, so let's begin. First you're going to need, if you want to do the colors I'm doing, I use the navy blue jelly for the spikes, the ocean blue jelly for the body, <coughs> four yellow bands for the eyes, white for the tummy, a um, couple black bands for the claws and pupils, and... <coughs> I believe that's it. Um, black, navy blue, ocean blue, yellow, and white. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to be starting with the feet. So you're going to take three of your ocean blues, stick them on, and first of all, I apologize that I'm using blue bands because I know they might be hard to see on this loom, but that's the color I want to make mine, so sorry to say you'll have to deal with it, I guess. Okay. So we did three, and we're doing a single double loop. Another single double loop. Another one. Another one. And another one. <coughs> then we're going to take a black band and tie off the end here. Um, then I'm, you're going to loom it. Where is my hook? I love how I just lose things like this. This is like... Uh, oh, there it is. Alright. We're looming it. You should know basic looming if you're doing this project. Shouldn't have to explain to you what I am doing. I'm still getting used to this hook, by the way. It's like the new metal hook from Rainbow Loom. Alright, once I've done that, I'm going to take it off and you're going to make three more. Okay, so make three more and so you have four legs. Then we're going to be working on the wings. So we're taking two, um, two ocean jelly at a time. We're doing a larger set of wings first. So I put two at a time. And then I'm going to do double looped single, double looped single. Then I'm putting two again, two at a time. Five times, not six, five. Double looping single bands. Then we're doing two at a time here. So two. Then again, two double looped. There's one. Here's two. Now I'm going to take two, two bands, and I'm going across these two pegs with them. And I'm also going to go across these, these two, those two. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now. I'm going to cap off my three ends here, so take a blue band and wrap it around this peg four times. Same thing with this peg here. And this one here. So your three ends we are capping off. And then we're taking two bands, two blue bands, making a triangle there, making a triangle here and then taking a double loop single blue band here. Then we're going to loom starting with the longest um, part here, so I'm going up. When I reach this peg here, I'm going to loom the two that are going across, and I'm just going to continue going all the way up. You don't want to loom the, uh, the, the double looped band though, okay? So, 
Just go continue. And now we're going to go up this row here. Going all the way down, grabbing the bottom ones here. Then we're going to loom the, these two. So I have to go in and grab those. Okay, going in, continuing up. And then I'm going to tie off my three ends here with black bands. So I'm just pulling a band through all those blue bands at the end and just kind of half knotting it just so they stay together. Doesn't matter what color you use because we'll take them off eventually. So those three bands you can use whatever color you want. I'm going to pull it off. Okay, we have one big wing, you're going to make another one, so go back and make a second one. And now we're going to work on the little wings once you have your two big wings. So I'm taking double loop bands the whole time here. down the second row, double loop single bands, it's hard with the jelly because they're slippery so if I mess up you're just going to have to bear with, <coughs> bear with me, and down this row as well. Then I'm going to do double loop single bands across here. I'm going to do double loop single band across here. And also one across here. So between these two I put one, between these two I put one. And I'm going to do another one between the three here. And then just one more between the two here. Alright, i got to cap off my three ends again. Ugh, so slippery and my hands are all sweaty. Grr. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to loom up this one. So just stay with me because we have to loom horizontally again. So once I get to this one, I'm going to grab these two and loom these across. Okay, then I'm just going to continue going up. Don't loom these two across, okay, because those are horizontal bands that we want to keep that way. Okay, then we're going to go down here, grab these two, then the next two, and then we're going to loom these two, okay? Not these two, these two. So go under the top two and grab the next two, loom those over. Just go up here, here, and we just want to go all the way up here. And same thing, we're gonna I'm gonna tie off with black bands here. And this you want to pull off your loom very carefully. Because they're double loop bands and you don't want any of them to break. Alright, so I have a mini wing. I'll 
Okay, so we have a big wing, two big wings and a mini wing. You need to go back and make another mini wing. Sure, there we go. Okay, so you have two big ones and two little ones. All right, now we're gonna work on our spikes. So you're gonna need your navy blue jelly for this one. You're doing double loop. Double loop another one. And then just cap it off. Okay. Loom that, and you're gonna make about eight or nine of these. Okay, you can store them on another hook or a toothpick if you want. All right, so we have our spikes, our feet, and our wings, and now we're gonna be working on the main body. So I'm gonna take three, three ocean gel. Well, first we wanna change our loom to the offset. So I'm just gonna move my middle row up by like half a thing, like that. All right, and now I'm gonna take three of the ocean jelly, and I'm gonna take two, two again, two again. I'm just gonna go all the way down to the bottom like this. And actually, let's do, <coughs> you need, I'm going to do, let me just look at my guy for a second here. Do a double loop single band for this one here, okay? Because I feel like doing regular one is going to make his nose look too big. All right, and then um, we want to make his nose spike. So really quick, you're going to do your ocean jelly, and we're just going to make like a spike, but it's going to be with the ocean jelly instead of the navy jelly. Like that. Um, so it's the same exact thing as the spikes. It's just a different color. And I'm just going to loom that and just pull that off onto my hook like that. Okay. Um, anyway, now we want to go diagonally. So I'm going to put two here and two here. I'm do, going to do that on the other side. Two here and two here. I'm going to grab one of his little legs, put my hook through the six loops at the end. I'm going to attach that leg right onto this peg here. And I'm going to grab another one and attach. Oops. I want to make sure you get all six loops over the peg. There we go. And you want to attach another leg to the other side. Okay, make sure you have all the loops around. Alright, and then we're going to continue. I actually think I made my thing too long. Now that I think about it. Wait, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I did. Um, take off the bottom three parts like that, and then just reattach the double looped. Don't want to make them too long because. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, nah, you know what? I'm going to leave that the way it was. Just because, yeah. Okay. Okay, taking two bands at a time again. Sorry. Um, two bands at a time. I did diagram this out, but I'm just rethinking it as I go along. Because I haven't actually made this guy yet. I kind of just diagrammed it. So hopefully he'll turn out looking amazing. Um, okay, take these off and we're, we'll attach our front legs here. So again, 
hook through the six loops and attach that right here. Yeah, whatever. Attach that right here. The other one on the other side. Um, two bands here, two bands here, and then we're going to take two and we're going to go like this, okay? So from here to here, not from here to here, from here to here, okay? Same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to cap off the bottom here. Okay, now I'm going to make my eyes, so I'm going to grab my four eye color bands. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap them around my hook four times each. So there's one, and then I'm going to grab a black, do it with a black, then another yellow, then another yellow, then a black. Okay, um, now I'm going to take two blue bands, put them on the end of my hook, and pull my eye bands onto those two blue bands. Okay, I'm going to touch the ends to this peg and to this peg. And then I'm going to spread the eyes apart, and I'm going to grab two bands from between the eyes. There's four there. Grab two and pull two of them over. Grr. Move it. Two of them over this peg here. Just like that. Okay, and, um, yeah, okay. And we're going to attach, we're going to put our horizontal um, bands on. So, upside down triangles I'm doing here. Instead of um, the other way. Upside down. Um, and now I'm going to be to begin looming. Um, I'm going to loom this guy first, so this double looped band. And right here I'm going to attach my nose spike, which is the light blue one we just made before. So those loose ends are going around this peg. Okay. Then I'm going to go in and grab the two at the top. And I want to grab these two from in here. So I'm grabbing those two, looming those. I don't want to use this hook. And going down and grabbing the next two for this guy. And then the bottom two for this guy. Okay, I'm going to go up this way, right here, okay, like that. I'm going to grab one of my large wings, and if you look at it, you'll see that one end is longer than the other end. We're going to attach the loose end of the long end right here. <coughs> so we have... This, the, so stick your hook through the blue bands on the end of the longest side. This one's shorter than this one. Okay, through the longest side. And I'm going to wrap those bands around this peg here, like that. Then I'm going to go in all the way down through this thick set of bands and grab the bottom two. And loom those. 
going to try to keep the wing on while you do that. Like that. Okay, and then it's really hard to see because of the color I'm noticing, but whatever. Then you go through the next set of blue bands. That goes there. Loom those. And through the final set. Through here. Okay, and then, let's see here. I'm just trying to think how I can do this next part. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so let's go, let's move on to the next, to the other side. So I'm going to loom, oh, I'm already at this point, so grab your other large wing. And same thing on this side, we're attaching this loose end to here. Looming that. Ugh, this one's not being nice to me. Grabbed an extra band somewhere. Hold on. Tricky, tricky. Okay. Loom those. Then do the next set. Okay, now, if I go here, I think, spike, spike, yeah, okay, um, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go down here and loom this guy, then I'm going to attach a spike right here, so grab your dark blue. One of those is going to go right there. And the next one. And the next one. Another spike is going to go there. And I'm also going to loom. Hmm. No, I'm not going to loom there. I'm going to loom <coughs> this guy over here. So that one and the one on this side as well. Okay. So I've loomed up to these three. I'm going to grab one of my mini wings. I don't know how this is going to work, actually. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Um, put your wing down for a sec. Loom another one here and attach another spike. Then we can loom again to that guy and then stop there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach our mini wing. I don't know if this is going to work or not, so we'll find out. Ha! Huh. Attach our three loose ends to these three pegs. So our long end of the mini wing is facing this way. So I don't know how this is going to work or if it's going to work. Stick your hook through the loose ends there and wrap them around this peg here. Loom the two bands underneath that. Then you want to go through the next section. Yeah, it should work. It's just difficult. More difficult because they're double looped bands instead of single bands. Wrap those around there. Loom that guy. Oh, you have to go all the way down under the legs here. So I'm going all the way down to the very bottom. And that. Okay, and then the last one goes there. Let's see how this works. Oops, missed one. Figures. There we go. 
All right, cool. I did that side. Now I gotta do the other side. So I'm gonna grab another mini wing. Mini wing. And stick my hook through the blue bands in that wing. Make sure you fit through all of them, which can be tricky because it's so tiny. Go around there. Okay, so remember the long end is facing that way. Um, then I'm gonna loom that band. So moving those two bands. Ooh, get out of the way. Grr, black band. Bean, bean in the back. Okay. I'm probably gonna get a lot of dislikes on this video just because I used blue bands, but you know what? Oh well. You can't make it. And at least it'll be kind of like a secret design of mine. Anyway, <coughs> go through the next set. And we'll go around this peg with that set. Okay. We gotta go all the way down to the very bottom and grab the bottom two. And the final set. Which is about to come apart on me. Uh, good thing it didn't. And that goes around this peg here. Okay, then I'm gonna loom these two. Okay, so I'm going all the way down, <coughs> grabbing the bottom two, looming those over, looming these two over, and these. And I'm going to attach another spike here. <coughs> see how this guy turned out. I have no clue how it's going to look. We still have to do the tail and the stomach once we've done this section. Um, I'm going all the way here. Here, stay around there. All the way down to the bottom. Those and I'm just gonna take it off. Um, but first, I'm gonna tie off the tail here. Grr. There we go. So, I, oh, wrong way. So, I'm just tying off the tail part here. And now I'm gonna take it off. Carefully. It's tricky because they're jelly bands. Push up his eyes. <laughs> I love him. Ah, little nose spike to go up. Oh my gosh! Look at this thing. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm going to pull off all the black bands that are attaching the body parts, except for the one on the end that's holding his tail together. So, with my sweaty hands, I'm gonna just. Take my time and just pull off all the black bands there. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Oh. Oh. Hee hee. What should we name him? Baby Blue. Tornado Junior. Grr. Get off of there. <laughs> ah, he's gonna be so cute when we put his little tummy on him, and then he's gonna be able to open his mouth and stuff. Oh, so adorable.
And we have to finish his tail up too as well, which we will do. Okay, let us work on his little tail. -y. So I'm going to be taking, um, let's see, what did I have here? Okay, double loop single ocean, I mean, yeah, ocean blue jelly. Once, twice, three times, <laughs> four times, five times, six times, and I'm going to take three, three ocean blue jelly again, again. Again, all the way to the end here. <sighs> Alright, once I've reached the end, I'm going to attach my loose end of the tail onto that peg. So I'm going through the bands on the tail. And those are going around this peg here. All six loops, or however many there are. Alright, then I'm going to pull them forward and loom the three, three tail bands. So I loom those. Now I'm going to attach a spike. Another one, and another one. Attach another little spike. I loomed three times that time instead of two. Three times. <coughs> and I'm actually, one. I need to make one more spike because I'm one short. So, or I actually have one. Ah, oh, yay me. One more spike. I'm going to go right. Oh, first I have to loom. Haha, oh, silly me. Looming here. This guy and this guy. And then I'm just going to attach this final spike right there around those pegs, and then I'm <coughs> this one. Okay, and then I'm just going to tie it off with an ocean blue jelly here. Hopefully the tail's long enough. If not, we can make it longer if we have to, so it's not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to pull this off now. Yeah, it's long enough. Okay, I'm going to take that loose band at the end, and I'm going to wrap it around the end of the tail a couple times, just so it stays on. If it breaks, you can always replace it, not a big deal. Okay. Yay, now we have to pull off this black band here at the tail, and now I want to make his tummy, and then we'll be done with him. Okay. So, anyway... I'll put it like that thing there. Yeah, um, <coughs> let's make his tummy. So, I'm going to do... Let me count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so, I'm taking... <coughs> Man. Okay, so, uh, oh no, I'm not doing blue, I'm using white now. So, white, two at a time. Just follow me here. Okay, so two here.
Okay, I'm putting two here as well, and a double loop single one right here. Okay, now I'm going back to doing two at a time here. Oh, these two we want to go this way. Sorry about that. And these two are the same thing here. We're kind of just replicating the top of the body with the stomach area. Um, I'm going to cap off here. So then I'm doing my horizontal band. So two at a time. Like this. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to take some ocean blue jelly, and I'm going to put one right here, and here, and here, and on the opposite side. So here, here, <coughs> and here. And as we loom this, we're just going to pretend that those aren't there. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, loom my double looped band, and I want to grab the top two. This guy here, then the next two, this guy here, and this guy here. I'm going to go up the side here. Go up this side here. Falls off, just put it back on. This guy here, and this guy here, and I'm gonna go up here, I mean down here, boom up. And at the top here, I'm gonna tie this off with a single. Um, blue band. Okay, so we're just tying it off. And make sure that doesn't come apart, so I'm going to put my finger through it as I pull this off. Alright, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out those bands toward the outside. I'm going to grab my little thunder drum man, lay him down flat upside down and you're going to lay the belly onto him so that double looped band is at the top facing his mouth okay and you want to line it up so that these two are pretty much even I mean uh, these two here that's his nose spike up there so that these two are like pretty much even and we're gonna lay it on and what we're doing here is we are going taking our hook and as you can see there is a blue band right here that's sticking out I'm gonna go into the body below right below that blue band I'm gonna go through like maybe four of the bands there and just pull that blue band through those bands okay we're gonna do that all the way around so underneath those loose bands we're going into the body and just pulling those loose bands through the body bands Okay, it's pretty it's pretty simple. It's not really that complicated. We're just doing that <coughs> all the way around. Don't feel like you have to go through the same exact bands as me as long as your stomach is centered and you're going through some bands that are like in the middle then you're fine. Okay, the bottom band that we tied off, the same thing. We're just pretending that that is um, another loose band pulling through. Yeah. 
here. Which band is going to pull this guy through? Right there. Okay, once you've pulled them all through, I'm going to start with this guy here, and I'm going to put my fingers through it. So the one right next to the mouth. I'm going to grab the next one in line, fingers through that one, grab the next one in line, fingers through that one, grab the next one in line. Try not to miss any. Fingers through that one, grab the next one in line, the next one in line, and the final one. And you're going to just take that band and wrap it around his leg a couple times. So his front leg, we can wrap that around there. And then he can open his little mouth. Look at that. Roar. Roar. So there's your teensy weensy thunder drum baby. And I even have my big guy with me, this giant triple loom guy, which I do not have a tutorial for, nor am I making one, because I already have another bigger thunder drum on my channel. But anyway, here is Big Thornado and Little Thornado. Hee <laughs> And Little Thornado can probably fit in Big Thornado's mouth and get eaten by his dad. Ah! Daddy, don't eat me! Dum. Mm. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't eat your kid, Thornado. That's terrible. But yes, yeah, so there's um, Daddy and Baby. And I, so I hope you enjoyed. Go make the other Thunder Drum on my channel. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. He is absolutely so cute. And it can open his mouth, which I think is really cute. Yay! Okay, everybody. So, have a wonderful night and enjoy your baby fender drum.